to start, could you each introduce us to your characters in the film and what audiences should know about them? Nicole, do you want to kick us off? Sure. Um, my name is Nicole. Um, I play Cecily in the film Runt. Um, in terms of character analysis, uh, she has both um, a calming influence on, on Cal, but she also is a catalyst who um, drives him to make uh, haste decisions um, that more times than not result in um, negative consequences for everyone involved. Um, she starts off as this sort of artistic loner um, and, and progressively becomes Cal's sort of alter ego, um, providing him with the context uh, he needs to guide him in his decision making. Uh, I play Victor. Um, uh, I'm a bit of the head honcho of the school, uh, star quarterback, um, uh, very privileged, uh, more than most of the other kids, I would say. Um, he kind of uh, upholds the sports reputation of the school, so his coach really protects him uh, when he's doing things that he shouldn't be doing. Um, and uh, I don't think he has really any regard for consequences of his actions. Yeah. Hello, my name is uh, Cyrus Arnold. I play Borgie. Um, Borgie's Cal's homie, and uh, they're 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 pretty close. And uh, yeah, both Cal and Borgie make some pretty uh, bad decisions and find themselves in this kind of uh, infinite cycle of violence. Nicole, your character becomes the voice of reason for Cal. What was that collaboration like working with Cameron to build the dynamic that we see between your two characters? Um, we, we worked well in advance to really build an authentic relationship between the two characters. Um, I mean, I, I learned a lot from Cameron by working so closely with him. Um, someone who's so visibly passionate and driven about his craft, um, willing to learn, um, and it, it was it was it was really mutual. So it was definitely a collaborative process um, in developing and fleshing out these these three dimensional characters that um, well you read about in the script and and you you get to make them your own, which is which is always such amazing. Thing to do. Um, yeah. Aramis, were there any nerves heading into this project given everything that your character does in the film? How were you able to decompress after filming? Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, I was, you know, asked to do things that, um, you know, I myself would, would never be comfortable doing or would never, you know, bring myself to do. So that was definitely a bit daunting, but um, everyone was so professional on set and um, we were very open about, uh, you know, what we wanted from the scenes and our boundaries and um, whenever, you know, cut was called, we were, you know, always there for each other to lend a helping hand. And um, I think that helped a lot with a lot of the subject matter because, uh, you know, Vic is extremely abusive throughout the film. And um, I think us being, you know, friends outside allowed us to really go there because, uh, you know, it's a movie. We were trying to make, you know, the most realistic movie we could possibly make. The film showcases how bullying can manifest itself in different forms. Cyrus, your character finds himself on both ends of that. How were you able to prepare to tackle Borgie's journey throughout the film? Uh, you know, to be honest, um, I was uh, bullied in high school, so I kind of dug up some of those uh, emotions. And I would like to think I handled it a lot more amicably than Borgie. Um, but yeah, you know, definitely that kind of like, um, that pain, I had to dig up a little bit and also kind of like try to find the root of why my tormentors did what they did or why, uh, you know, my bullies did what they did. And so, um, and it was probably for the same reasons they probably felt a lot of that rage that Borgie was feeling. Um, and so, yeah, everybody kind of, the cool thing about acting is like, everybody has like that emotional spectrum. And so um, you can, and, 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 and unfortunately like negative emotions is the easiest to grab at. And so playing either a bully or the bullied can kind of, you can just kind of bring that up and, uh, and kind of manifest that and stuff. Um, yeah. That was like. Great answer. Um, there's so many intense moments within the film, which I imagine 
uh, involves a lot of trust between the cast and the crew. How are you all able to build that bond? Uh, I was going to say, I think uh, filming at the high school that we filmed at, we were there most of the days, right? Besides some of the on-location stuff. I think, I think all of my stuff besides Vic's house uh, and Cal's house was, was all filmed at the school. So um, it was kind of fun to report there every morning coming from someone who didn't really go to high school, didn't really get the high school experience. It was like, we were all sort of there together and we had our, you know, intermingling circles within the cast, you know, outside of the movie. Uh, so I think, um, I think it was a lot of fun for that reason. I think we all got really close and, you know, we play football and basketball and card games. And um, it really felt like a, like a, a school environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And I think Nicole actually had to do school on set. Well, we, according to SAG rules, we had to have a set tutor on location. Um, it was over the summer, luckily. So oh, okay, okay. There, was, there was really nothing that needed to be done. Um, <laughs> um, that being said, I was, I was just entering my freshman year of high school and I'm now graduating in May. Um, so Thanks. this has been in post-production for a while and things were postponed and um it's it's been a long time coming so um really excited um for tonight i mean for me the most difficult scene to film was the sexual assault scene um and i i worked well in advance with with my acting mentor um to really get into the mindset of a defilement uh victim um um which is of course difficult to deal with at any age but I think the implications were even more grave considering Cecily being a teenager um, in the film, uh, but everyone was so reassuring and um, uh, I felt safe and comfortable, um, which could have been something, you know, very uncomfortable uh, for me, but, you know, we, we blocked the scene, we talked it out, we worked through it um, ahead of time. Um, and so I, I had a really great support team behind me. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I was very grateful for that. <laughs> yeah, and then final question for all of you. One of the, the major themes of the film is the importance of mentorship. For each of you, who were the mentors you turned to in your own lives and how do they shape the person that you are today? Uh, my main mentor is Daniel Wu. Uh, we played opposite each other on a show for a long time. Uh, we became really close. He's like a father figure to me and um, we both, uh, you know, huge basketball fans, big car guys, as well as actors. And um, he's really taken me under his wing. And uh, yeah, I go to him a lot. I have to say my parents, <laughs> my parents. Um... My mom too, my mom's giving me a dirty look right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. They're such a great uh, support team for me. Um, I also really look up to Jennifer Beals, um, who I worked with on a sci-fi short a couple years ago. Um, she's such an inspirational role model and brilliant in so many ways. Um, she's just incredibly wise and, and thoughtful and always gives the best advice. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm immensely grateful to have gotten the chance to work um, with her and, and, and learn from her breathtaking talent. Um, so yes. I think mentors are so, so important. Yeah. yeah. For, um, yeah. My, uh, my mentors, um, in terms of like real life mentors. Yeah. My parents, um, also, uh, yeah, my dad, my mom, um, and, uh, also, um, Ben Stiller, I, I played his son for a very long time and, uh, and yeah, we kind of had that dynamic uh toward the end especially and yeah he was like writing directing and producing and and just doing so much and and uh it was really cool to see him like be able to flex all of it at the same time which was like really weird and surreal mm -hmm.